Hello guys, welcome in the next movie. Today we will, I will talk a little bit about uh, this uh, newest uh, X6 controller. So I have installed it, uh, this controller on the CY6 One Pro motor. And I will be doing some testing on this very nice uh, Reason motorbike. I don't want to go too much into details about this bike, but it's coming with a 72 volt battery with 60 amps uh, discharge uh, BMS. So it's capable in theory to providing a four and a half kilowatt power. So it's really powerful. Yeah. So I'll do some tests rides in here in the forest. Yeah. Hope you will enjoy the movie. And I will try to talk some details about this controller and how the motor performs with it during the rides. Before I go further, I'll just show you how the motor is mounted on the frame. Sorry for the dirt. <laughs> but when you are riding, it's getting dirty quickly. So as you can see, the controller is mounted underneath. And this position provides very good cooling. And the very important thing is that I'm using a single speed drive. So I don't have any gears on this bike. As you will see, the motor is providing enough torque to uh, get rid of the gearing system on the bike. Alright, so enough talking, let's go then. Okay, so I'm riding on level 1 now. On the pedal assist. On the screen you can see the uh, indications of this uh, CYC light control application. I set the bike for three levels only. One, two, and three here. And I notice it's working the best that way. So it's in line with this, uh, this place that have like three sets. Three power settings. And you have like five levels on the 750C. You will see awkward behavior on level two and four. So I'll just jump to this second screen on the application. You will see the parameters. So on the level one is quite gentle. On level two. Yeah. Starting to be wild. You know, level 3. Whoa. It's like lifting from the wheel. Yeah. Now on the throttle. Riding level two. So as you can see, the torque is really good. And the single speed drive. And with this controller, you really don't need any gears. I just need to keep the high pocket. On this bike I'm using 23 teeth. That was the biggest one I could buy on AliExpress. Oh, it's providing good enough torque, especially on the higher RPMs, as you can see. Before I go further, I'll just show you what kind of settings I'm using. You just need to go in this menu here, modes and levels. I'm in the race mode. Unfortunately, on this screen, you cannot uh, change it to street mode. 
what I heard from uh, you and from CYC to have this SV102 as display. But anyway, yeah, this is like a motorbike, so I'm not using this mode. So on the race, on the throttle, as you can see, I have like uh, three levels. That's why I'm having only three levels on the display as well. So like on the one, I have maximum power 2000. That's on the mid uh, 3000 and the highest 4500. For the torque, you can see like 50, 75, and 100 respectively. For the pedal assist, I noticed that it's better just to drop them down so uh, the motor will be more polite when you are riding. It's like the lowest uh, peak power is like half a kilowatt. For the medium level, it's uh, 1000 watts, and for the highest, 2000. And you can see what the torque is like 30, 50, and 70%. Speed limit 100 km per hour. Yeah. From the pedal assist, this menu doesn't work properly. That's something uh, CYC need to work a little bit more. Yeah, so I will not go into details. You can set some sensitivity for the torque sensor, yeah. but for the timing, it doesn't work as it should. All right, then I'll be going further. Unfortunately, rain is starting falling down. I hope it won't be a storm. Go to level 2. I have no power. to be careful <laughs> so solid the motor goes like crazy on this open the gate. A lot of them on the way. Okay. So we can see the throttle is very responsive. No lag. Since I have very low gearing on this motor I don't use pedaling so much. Maybe I can go fastest 20 by pedaling, not more. I'll have to rotate pedals really quickly to get higher speed. See, <laughs> this motor <laughs> goes like crazy. I'm just on level two. On third one, yeah. I'm 
people riding with it. So I'll be riding from level 2 then. I don't want to destroy the draft end too quickly. See, I was able to reach 60 easily kilometers per hour speed. This is dangerous machine, you need to be really careful of it. Okay, so what I could say about this controller is a big improvement from RC. It's much better waterproofed. No exposed uh, connector. Sorry. Uh, good cooling position. <clears throat> Very powerful. And you can feel it from the standstill. It's instant engagement and really high torque. And if you connect it to a really powerful battery with higher discharge rate, uh, it can provide a lot of power for this uh, instant promoter. Uh, I will just do some casual riding and enjoy the trip with me.